on YouTube. This is Heavy T of Heavy T and Big R of Real Music Reviews bringing you this week's music review. Yes, it is New Music Tuesday. And I hope everybody enjoys this review that we're going to do. Once again, we're going to bring you the hottest review available on YouTube. We don't have anybody out here who can do it better than us. I'm not trying to copy. I'm not sounding arrogant, but we do what we have to do, and we researched it, and we bring it to you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and here I begin. The first CD I'm going to talk about is my fellow New Jerseyans, the Jonas Brothers. The Jonas Brothers CD is called A Little Bit Longer. I give the CD a three and a half out of five stars. They're currently signed on Hollywood Records, and my favorite tracks are called Burning Up and shelf please download this it's available on itunes now and i guarantee you it will be the number one single i mean number one cd excuse me for this week watch second cd i'm going to talk about is irma thomas she's currently on rounder records she, she gives you that classic soul vibe and she has also a collaboration with nora jones grammy winner and successful woman herself this CD, I'll give it a 3 out of 5 stars. It's a nice, soulful CD. You're going to get a lot of soul from her that reminds you of soul from back in the early 70s, late 60s type, stuff, uh, type style right there. Singles for this week. My singles, I have a little list here because there's a lot of good singles that came out this week. I'm going to start off with um, Little Big Town. And the song is called Fine Line. They're currently signed on Capitol Records. And it is underneath the genre of country. Yes, I listen to country. I listen to everything like we have explained. This I give three out of five stars. I love the vocal ability. I love the vocal tracks. It is a nice, nice, nice single. Moving along, I'm going to go to Big Boy. Big Boy from the ATL. Uh, and Outkast has a new single out with Mary J. Blige called Something's Gotta Give. Nice, nice single, hot beat, very inspirational, nice. I give it four out of five. And he's currently signed on LaFace Records. Shout out to Big Boy and Outkast. Pleasure P, who I was talking about last week, that Pretty Ricky Needs Back, has a new single. And it's called Did You Wrong. And he did not do me wrong on this song. This song is great. I give it definitely three and a half out of five stars. He's currently signed on Atlantic Records. Atlantic Records, excuse me. And his vocal ability has grown. He has grown as an artist. Really, really, really a lot. And I like that. That he's picked up his stature. It's very it's a very good track. Very good song. And David Archuleta. David Archuleta, his single is called Crush, and he's currently signed on 19 Entertainment Limited. It has a nice falsetto on his range right there. It's a nice ballad, nice single, mid-tempo kind of, but it's very good. I like this by David Archuleta. Uh, Chris Brown has a new single out, and it's called Dreamer. He's currently signed on Zama, Zamba recording underneath the Jive, Jive label. All proceeds for Dreamer go to Team United States of America out there in Beijing, China. So please download this. All proceeds. He's not getting one penny for this, people. It's going out to Team USA. And my uh, and my honorable mention is Eric Arsenal. Eric Arsenal is a YouTube phenomenon who is currently let out a CD called Audio Emotion. You need to get this. This man can sing people he can sing and if you did not know if he can sing or never heard of him check him out on his youtube he is great subscribe to his youtube subscribe people because his voice is great he gives you a john legend feel along with the maxwell with his falsetto so it, it's a very very nice voice a nice soothing voice that comes through the speakers as you listen to this See y'all on the Underground Artist segment. God bless y'all. Please subscribe. If you want to be on Underground Artist, please hit us up, and we will definitely get y'all on there. See y'all. Peace. 
What's going on, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big R, and I'm back on August 12, 2008, doing these music reviews for you. Um, and I'm going to start off with a little bit of reggaeton, Daddy Yankee, um, on the label Machete Music, releases another hot reggaeton album entitled Talento de Barrio, which is, in Spanish, it means District of Talent. The album is very fast, energetic, and hype, which, you know, all are characteristics of reggaeton music, but it also has a very militant feel. Uh, Daddy Yankee created sort of a, like, warlike theme on this album. The beats are similar to the cadences that soldiers march to in the military. Um, if, you know, if you're familiar with it, you'll pick up on that. Um, I'd say this album is very current to today, today's events such as the war in Iraq and the crumbling economies and different struggles. Um, reggaeton is a music of the struggle of the people um, and what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, especially in the Latino community, in the Latin community. Towards the middle of the album, there is more um, rage and sorrow, um, but with the fighter's attitude. And I think it's a very well put together album, very... Um, just a very good album in general, especially for reggaeton. Daddy Yankee always does good in the reggaeton scene. You know, a lot of hip-hop elements in it. Um, key songs, Oasis de Fantasia, and another song, K Della, and another the last song, which, which is my favorite on the album, Infinito. I really like those songs. Go check those out. Um, go check the whole album out. I give this album a 3.5 out of 5. Next we'll have Young Berg. He released Look What You Made Me today. Um his single The Business featuring Kasha um was his debut single and also his debut single uh, for his his official debut single, Sexy Lady, um is featured on this album. Young Berg comes off very sure of himself, very cocky in in a way. Um he makes mention of Jay Z, B. I. G, P. Diddy, he keeps talking about him throughout the album to compare himself, but he isn't nearly in the same caliber arena as any of those prestigious artists, so I kind of didn't like that. Um, his flow was similar to Jermaine Dupri's or Bow Wow's, which is basically the same same thing. And lyrically, he's an am it's like Amateur Night, so... He kind of didn't really do anything for me on this album, but what saved him is his collabs with producers and guests such as... Look, look, listen to this guest list. Lloyd, Trey Songs, A. Marie. Where has A. Marie been? I love A. Marie. Um, Twista. He has many more um, collabos on the album. Key Songs, Get Your Number, that has A. Marie. And Do That There, that has an under, um, another underground artist on that track. I give his album a 3.5 out of 5, but it's, it is a very good album. It's just, um, if he switches up his flow and, you know, gets his lyric game up, you know, he might be in for a real talent, but... As far as the cockiness and different things, it kind of, you know, just, it just kind of dampered the album. <clears throat> and also, you know he's on another level because when he um, performed at a concert recently, he basically got his, took his shirt off and then like wiped his pubic area, like his crotch, with the shirt and then threw it in the crowd in somebody's face. And... You know, I guess the women went crazy for it, but it's just like, who who are you? You this is your first album. You had EPs, you know, LP. Like you, you're not that big. So I don't know, Youngberg. He's a, you know, he seemed like a cool cat. You know, he's young, doing his thing, which is always good to see a black person doing positive, you know, things in the community, whatever. But um, the cockiness is not gonna bring him anywhere, actually. Now it has um I I actually probably should be mentioning on the underground artist video, but I want to bring this to light because she did come out and it's a very good album. The new face of Bad Boys, Janelle Monae releases um her album Metropolis the um K the Chase Suite excuse me Metropolis the Case Ch I'm gonna say that one more time the third time's a charm Metropolis the Chase Suite which boasts her remarkable vocal ability. She provides um, R&B soul music with the futuristic opera, electronic, electronica fashion, you know. Uh, Janella is like Amy Winehouse meets Pink meets Faith Evans, somewhere around there. Very phenomenal um, artist. 
amazing seven track album go out and get that it's special edition when you get it i give her album a four a four out of five uh honorable mentions for this week ed lover or um, his, his album his reggaeton album um and r.i.p to isaac hayes and bernie mac we love you we miss you and um i guess that's it for this week i will see you big r signing off and I will see you either Underground Artists or next um, New Music Tuesday, and I'll see you then. Peace.